Zero to zero network to whatever network is um, on E3. So that's now working. Okay, now let's. We've. All, I think we'll do one more commit just for, just for laughs, and then we'll save that. And let's also save it on here as well. Now let's check what we the whether we've got internet access on our web server. And we do. Okay, and I won't load up a Internet Explorer this time. I'm just going to ping Google. That way, I just when when I was doing the top one, I was just testing IP connectivity. I don't need to do any name resolution, so my DHCP servers, DHCP, DNS servers, don't need to be correct or anything. Whereas here, I'm testing name resolution and I'm testing IP connectivity. Okay, what's next? Let's come out, and just so we don't get the two confused with each other, let's change this one around a little bit. I'm going to change the background to something a little less exciting. There we go. So that's our web server and that's our workstation. Okay. So that's a roundup of what we've done. We've gone to here, configured the IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, and DNS. We went onto the router, configured the IP addresses for each of the interfaces. We then configured network address translation, the descriptions, and SSH, and we're ready to go there. We did pretty much the same over here with network address translation, but then we needed an extra network address translation for the 10.0.0 network. Otherwise, this traffic wouldn't go through. So this one here is doing network address translation for two different networks, and that's reflected by the two different rules that you can see there. We then tested that this one has got internet access, which it does, and then we tested this one's got internet access, which it does. Now one last test. Keep in mind that this one here is going to be quote unquote dialing in into VPN one. So we want to test that it can actually reach ten dot zero dot zero dot one. And if it can't, we'll have to find out why. And it does. Good. So we have traffic now successfully going all the way from here. And it, because it's on this particular network, it's then coming out and going out through here. Okay. Let's just check. We've saved that configuration and we've saved that configuration. So now we're on to the next stage. We're actually um, are going to be setting up the uh, certificate authority and our digital certificates. We're setting up these because we want to do open VPN. When we do open VPN, we want the client to have some some certificates, a client certificate and key and things like that, and then we want the server to have um, a certificate and key. Um, and this is how you do it. Now, uh, open VPN already has um, on here. A uh, example, um, well, loads of directories that are example configurations and things like that. But what we want to um, use is hold on a second. Let's see if I can remember the path to be able to get into here. There, can you see that uh, folder there that's called uh, Easy RSA? That's what we want. We want that two folder. So we want to copy recursively, of course. You should try and always do this with examples as well, just so you. Uh, don't have um, don't delete your originals, which is always a good. Okay, it's open VPN. Okay, and then it's the easy RSA. I'm just LSing into that directory to check that we have it there already, and we do. The R, by the way, the TAC R on the CP, in case you didn't know, is recursively. So it's not only going to copy everything in that directory, but everything with directories in it and directories in it and directories in it. And forever and ever and ever. Okay, so let's actually go into that directory now. I 
I don't need to be in configuration mode here, so I might as well exit out. Let's see where I am. Okay, etc. Open VPN. Easy RSA. There I am. Okay. Now the first thing we've got to do is we've got to configure. I'm going to use Vim here. And if we keep going down, there we go. Okay, now I'm going to configure this um, how I personally want to do it. It's completely up to you how you do it. Um, the only thing, word of caution, that I um, will throw, I guess, is um, that it has to be identical here and on the workstation. At the moment, we're going to do the same on the workstation, um, and we want it to be identical. So, try not to enter in two complex values that you forget. Uh, low for London. Um, how about we set up here city as London organization um, okay again could be anything and uh, let's set up my email Super. Uh, if you um, were, f if you're following this along with me, um, so Vim Vars, and then uh, for those that aren't used to using uh, Vim or Vi, it's a little bit different in Vi, but Vim's um, I find it a little bit easier anyway. So I'm pressing Escape twice, and then I'm pressing I, and then once that I can then use as almost as though you would Notepad. So backspace is backspace. I can do Shift and K and things like that. Um, so that's your editing mode, if you like. Remember, you should be remembering these values um, so that when you come to do them on the uh, workstation side, um, you'll be able to um, repeat it anyway. So once I'm done, I then press Escape to take you back to like command mode I think it's called and then I'm pressing um, escape twice and then a colon and W for write it says at the bottom it confirms it's written and then the colon again and then Q to quit that's now done okay now I believe the next thing I've got to do is I then type source vars and then I can do a clean all. I run source files again. Uh, then I believe I do build CA for build certificate authority. Original. Uh, and it's taking the values that I've just set. So UK, province, LO for London, locality name, London, snake oil. Now, organizational name. Um, this could pretty much be anything I believe um, let's do snake oil again now common name this is the important one um, I like to since we're probably going to be using in, in, in a production environment you're probably using your host name here your publicly available host name so something unoriginal like VPN server dot viata dot com or something along those lines here we're going to be setting it to this server's IP address its external IP address, so the interface that it's going to be connecting on here. Email address is fine. Okay, and that's done. So what's next? How about we build a key server? Uh, and what are we going to call it? Well, we'll call it the host name, which is VPN1. UK, London, yep, yep. Uh, you could have a separate one, but we're going to call it the same common name we will call it that which is going to be the um, IP address, the external interface, email address that's fine, no challenge password and no optional one. Do you want to sign it? I do. Commit it? Yes please. There we go. Okay what do we need next? Um, now we need to build some Diffie Hymans. Oh, so it's going to take a long time obviously didn't. Let's have a look at keys and there we go that's what we need so we need to CP VPN1 and what do we need 